Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well out there. Today we are going through over here in Massachusetts. We've got a got a great big uh, snowstorm happening. So uh, what's on my heart today? Um, I was reading earlier from um, transcripts from Great Miracles Avenue channel. So one came on my heart and uh, it's an excerpt. So um, I'm just uh, just letting you know that it's on my heart. I've prayed about this. And these, this is an actual vision from a Filipino woman. Uh, she says she's living in Japan. Um, so she has a story to tell. So I just, um, I have it on my heart. And so thank you for following my guidelines. Once again, I do have them in place. Um, and I, I just want to say, uh, you know, uh, Lord, please help me get through reading through this video message. Let the words of my heart, the let the words of, of my heart and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord God. So this woman's name is Marie. She um living in Japan. She's Filipino. She says she came across this channel, which is Great Miracles Avenue channel, and I, I would highly recommend you to subscribe. She says um she has known Jesus all her life. Um she says uh, he has put the need on her that he keeps making her feel that that she should share the vision that she had so that's what I'm doing uh, right now as a messenger for him he wants many more to know this message okay um, she shares her personal life story uh, she says she's always known the Lord uh, and then she got and then she gets very personal by saying she got pregnant twice uh, and then she had some miscarriages so she shares that she found Jesus again three years ago. Okay. So she says, after her devotion time, reading the Bible, writing down prayers, she felt that she was punched hard in the chest. And the next thing she knew, she saw herself sitting on a chair, not moving. Then she sees herself standing and wearing a dirty white dress. So we all know what that means. She was wearing a dirty white uh, gown. Um... Then she said she floated through the air going up. She said um, till she saw the whole world and she felt a presence on her, behind her. She said she looked and she saw immediately it was Jesus she got on her knees. She said he was wearing a beautiful white robe with a golden sash and a crown on his head. He stood up and he hugged me and said, my daughter. And then I finally had the courage, she says, to look up. I saw his face. He was so beautiful. The light in his face. It's very peace-giving. His face looked like every person in the world. And I've never come across anyone who's ever said anything like that. So this was really, really interesting to hear. She says, the longer I looked at him, the more faces of the people on the earth I saw. And it was so majestic, I was immediately reminded of Genesis 1. That God made us in his image. Um, the Lord took me up and he let me see what was happening. In my vision, America and Russia were having a war. So we've heard this before. So this is another confirmation from somebody else who isn't even American. Okay, um, It was being broadcast live on TV. This is her vision. All over the whole world. The Americans were wearing red and the Russians were wearing green. All Americans were wearing red except this one super big guy wearing a gray shirt at the front together with the regular guys and the civilian citizens and the army was at their back. The Americans on the front were just using their bare hands fighting with the Russians. And at the back, army held guns in both, both their hands, which were super long in big guns. She says the Americans were advancing, and so the news that was shown on TV was America was winning. But the army advanced forward, and their guns were firing, even killing their own uh, countrymen at the front who were civilians and innocent youth and adults. They do not mind killing their own, even the ones wearing, even the one wearing a gray shirt. And the Russians were running back to their camp, which is in the forest. Then Jesus and I descended um, and landed near a white middle-aged woman who was from the American side. She was crying 
and she took out a cardboard and wrote on it, blinded for false freedom, blinded for false freedom. Then God took me up again and I said, Lord, what, what does this mean? I'm scared. Please tell me. I don't want to see the killings. God then told me the Americans wearing red represents represent chickens and the Russians wearing green represent snakes. So see that no Russian see that no Russian died while they were fighting. They're just luring the Americans to get near their dens because they are there are more snakes waiting for them to come so they can eat and devour them whole. God was weeping and crying when he said, "Look, they are blindly fighting for false freedom. The one you see wearing a gray shirt that's very big is the coming Goliath of America. He will be feared by many nations, but will be put down by his own people, for he did not hesitate to use his own people for his own reputation. And again, and gain, sorry. He will lead America to destruction. Go tell them that I am coming and has come, which is homosexuality, fornication, getting drunk in the world, sin and every other sin. Homosexuality is a sin. Sex trafficking, sex trafficking is a sin. Then she said, I kneeled down and said, Lord, why me? I am shy and nervous around people. I'm only good speaking around my friends and family. And he gave me three cards. He took one card from me and touched it, and it burned without fire, and it created a small hole, and he put the card on my forehead. Instantly, my demons left my body. Then he took then he took my hands, placed the other two cards on both of my palms, and it had a hole, and I had a small white hole in both the left lower side of my palms, near my thumbs, and the hole on the cards and my palms fit perfectly, and he said, So you are cleansed. I am in you, and you are in me, my child. Tell my people I am coming and have come. That was where my vision ended. I hope I do not offend anyone. I am only telling what God has told me. I do not know what is happening in your country right now, but I hope this helps you. Turn to God and plead with him. He is our loving Father. Pray for your country. I love you all. May God always be with you. So that is a quote. Everything is quoted from this woman, this Filipino.